What, what are we up to today, dude? We are moving in. We're basically in the... What the heck is happening with the camera? Um, <laughs> we, we are moving in uh, today, starting today officially. Look at all the stuff we got in there. We basically have most of, mostly everything in the in the car. I don't, what's happening? I don't uh, know. The cameras are twitching. Oh, we're we're gonna we're gonna move in, man. We're that's it. It's uh, it's over. It's done. We're we're moving into the space. We're gonna get most of our stuff in today. There's a few miscellaneous things that we don't have yet, uh, but most of the stuff is gonna go in today and we're gonna set it up and it's gonna look beautiful and you're gonna do some sample roasting. Yeah, that's that's actually the part I'm really excited about because we're just gonna drop off a bunch of tables and stuff like that, but yeah. we're gonna do some sample roasting. This is some of the good stuff that um, Cafe Imports has we're, uh, shipped We're probably to gonna sell some of this. The sample roasting is to see what we want to purchase from a distributor and sell. And Anyways, yeah, import. All right, let's get going, man. Let's yeah, get let's going. get going. Uh, Abel says, uh, what, what is that thing that Abel always says? You're burning daylight. We're burning daylight. Burning let's, daylight. Let's get to work. Yeah. Our owner here, Mr. <laughs> Bossman, setting up a table for his laptop, and the laptop is going to connect to the roaster here, so that he can track all the different roasting profiles and all that temperature and that kind of stuff. So we're going to do some sample roasting today. We got some beans from uh, Cafe Imports. We got some samples, about three pounds worth. Uh, Max is going to roast it up here on the roaster. And uh, we're gonna see what kind of beans we want to buy from them. You know, that's uh, they usually send out samples, and uh, we roast them up and decide which beans we like the most, so we can uh, purchase them, you know, for resale. But uh, right now, Max is busy here setting up a little table for his uh, laptop so that he can hook it up to this. But we haven't got our uh, venting system. We ordered it, so we should get it within a couple of days, probably. That's why we're out here by the door. That's where the smoke's coming out of. But it's just gonna be a tiny amount because it's just sample sizes. Sample sizes are small, so we're not gonna make a whole lot of smoke. Okay, so we got some of the stuff out. Got a little table here. Max is still sample roasting over there. It's kind of a mess right now. Wave, smile and wave. Come on, man. Well, we gotta get the samples done. Yeah, we gotta do. He, he won't. I don't know what we're gonna buy for the samples. Yeah, that's true. And then I got a table with. We got a bunch of a bunch of equipment here. Some coffee maker thing. We're gonna have several different kinds of coffee makers. And then we got a couch right here. So this is this was Max's wife's idea with the couch. I wasn't too big on it at first, but then when it arrived, I'm like, you know what? I like that idea. So I think I'm gonna put this together right now and put it over here somewhere. We're gonna move all this stuff around because we're not actually set up yet. But I'm gonna put that couch together and see how it looks over here. But yeah, so far this is some of the stuff that we got. We're gonna get rid of that metal table right there. So that table right there, that's full of like painting stuff that the, they still, that the guys left over. We're gonna move that tomorrow, so that's gonna be gone. This is an eyesore. Um, and then, uh, yeah, slowly but surely, we're getting stuff done. We're getting set up over here. Still just a bunch of boxes, but it's progress and it's making me happy. Staying productive today, made a shelf. I don't know, like I said, if it's gonna stay here or not, but eh, we're putting stuff into it. This is what it's gonna be used for, it's slacking off. We're just gonna, we're gonna sleep here. 
a few times probably. I'm not sleeping here. No. Just want to no. make that clear. I'm not sleeping here. No. If if anybody from the health department is watching, we're not going to sleep here. Well, I mean, unless my wife kicks me out, but we're not we're allowed. On good to. terms. You can't sleep in the warehouse. You can sleep in the bathroom. You, can, huh. you can't sleep where the food is being produced. So therefore, we're not sleeping in here. No, we're not sleeping in here. I roasted a bunch of batches, practice runs. Batches be roasting. Batches be roasting. I did some samples. I got a few more to go. Excitement. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try those samples tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah. So I got. I'm gonna do three more samples. I'm really excited about this coffee because this coffee that we got these three samples from Cafe Imports. This is a, <clears throat> what do they call them? A micro lot. This is the top shelf stuff. This is the good stuff, the good quality stuff that I like to drink. Stuff that I pay a lot of money for when I go buy it off a different coffee shop. High so quality stuff. That's the kind of stuff we want to work with here anyway. Yeah, we're going to be working with some expensive beans. Yeah. We're going to talk about that later. I really want to get into the, the kind of beans that we're going to be selling. Uh, and like where they're from and you know why they're better than other types of beans all that kind of stuff I want to get into what makes us different from a thousand other roasters in Southern California especially <laughs> there's a lot of them here but we do we the reason we started is because we want to offer something different yeah I just think that a lot of the uh, coffee shops and coffee roasters they they roast, but uh, it seems like they stay on the average level of roasting, like the quality. They buy the, the sort of stuff that is already specialty coffee, but it's just on the lower end of specialty coffee. Then the way they roast it is, there's a different way to roast it. It's like, it's like making a steak, you know, you can, you can make a piece of steak taste very good, average and pretty bad. Same thing with coffee. Is you can buy a good quality bean, but if you don't if you don't roast it right, it, it's not going to taste good. Well, I mean, just like everyone else who starts a business, we started it because we have the arrogance to say that we can do better. <laughs> that's what. It, that's why you start a business. You look around and you say, hmm, "I can do better." This is something we haven't talked about. It's the kind of beans that we're going to be selling, you know. Um, but they are not definitely not going to be on the lower end of this price spectrum. Uh, not because we're greedy or anything, but because we're actually going to be buying the green beans, the unroasted beans, we're actually going to be buying them for more because they're going to be expensive. We're going to deal with expensive coffee, basically. Yeah, so. and those who are already into the coffee, we want to deal with micro lots. For those people who already know these terms, micro lots are the coffees that are on the higher quality, like on the top top they're micro end. lots because there isn't a lot of them out there yes in quantity when they're grown they're grown in smaller quantities and therefore they're more expensive a lot yeah. more expensive than an average cup of coffee yeah but so. uh if you brew it right you will justify the price it, yeah the oh taste. man it's like a yeah. it's a it's a trip it's a it's a whole i have if i have a good cup i have to like stop and then and think about what i'm experiencing yeah, like the coffee I had today, like that coffee, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience of drinking that entire cup. It's an enjoy. It's a. It's almost recreational, you know. Hey, hey, where, you're, chance, where did you get that cup today? I mean, I went to his house and he gave me the very last of his beans. Those were amazing, and he, he brewed it up, and it was. It was an experience when you have amazing yeah. coffee that's brewed correctly by this guy. It's a. It's a. It's an experience, you know. You're having the. It's so good that you're just, it's a pleasurable, it's like having a really good Yeah, I think we're going to come off as a little creepy to the people yeah, we because are. We, we love coffee so if much. If people are not into it as much as we are, then yeah, it's kind of weird. But that's, that's why we're getting into the industry is because we're a little more into coffee than everyone else. Yeah, I've been basically, my, my journey in the last few years is always hunting for that perfect, really good cup of coffee. And, and it's been difficult because, like I said, it's expensive to buy the micro lot. It's expensive to train people to do it right. It takes time to make it right, to brew the cup of coffee. And so a lot of these coffee shops, they don't invest that kind of money into their coffee. They buy the cheaper coffee and they make it quick, which often is gonna show up in the cup that it's not gonna taste that well. Indeed. Indeed. So we moved the couch and uh, this, is, this is how I like it, you know? 
I'm sitting on a couch watching while someone else works. This is the dream of the business owner. You know? Even though he's a business owner as well. But he hasn't been promoted to sitting on a couch watching someone else work yet. Even though he's been doing a lot more work than me today. He's been roasting for hours here. But uh, somebody's got to supervise. We're going to head out. Echo. This is, this is our uh, this is our office. Yeah. This is our office area. I thought this was gonna be the storage. It's the a storage, yeah. <laughs> technically the office. That yeah. crappy little thing, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna take all the stickers and then I'll see if it's worth keeping after I clean it. We might just put our like, I don't know where we're gonna put in there, but it's a glass case thingy. I'm gonna see if I can clean it up. If I can, I will keep it. If it's still gonna look like crap, we'll throw it out. Anyways, that's it for us today, man. You did a lot of roasting. A lot of yeah. sample roasting. I'm very hungry, man. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Yeah, we need to get out of here. But, but we're gonna taste that coffee tomorrow. Yeah, see samples how it are done. And then we're gonna decide which ones we wanna purchase. Hey, did you ones. mention? Did you mention anywhere in your videos that the exhaust has been ordered? I think so. Well, yeah. today maybe. It took us a long time to find the right exhaust because of the codes uh, here in, in this city. So it was a long journey, a lot of learning, and uh, finally we got the... We ordered the exhaust. It's going to be here in a few days. From two different companies. <laughs> we had to yeah, piece it together. It but it's going to be legitimate, perfect, and we're going to set it up probably next week, in the beginning of next week. As soon as we get it, I want to set it yeah, up. Yeah, as soon as we get it. So excitement up ahead. Anyways, guys, I don't know if today was too interesting, but it was something, you know, we moved in slightly. I so This was a big deal for us. We did. Big day. A full day of work here. We did. And then roasting, yeah. setting up. So I thought this yeah. was cool. It was a good day. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the, the next video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, so see long. See you later. Yeah, see you later. So long.